It is day five of the UAW strike at General Motors. Both sides continue contract talks today, but suppliers to GM are now being affected and are forced to cut back their operations. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live downtown at GM World Headquarters. Jim? Yeah, think about this for a second. Every GM car and truck manufactured has some 30,000 parts. That's where suppliers come in. When you have a major manufacturer like GM shut down by a strike, those parts pipelines slow down, come to a halt. One of the normal high volume parts we supply, they just cut in half. That's the president of Stripmatic in Cleveland. His company is a tier two supplier of components that go into the suspension systems for hot selling GM SUVs and pickup trucks. Our next shipment will be reduced by 50% starting next week. Other major suppliers are also getting hit. Next tier makes steering systems up in Saginaw. Company officials say they must reduce workforce in the coming days. Continental AG and Denso suppliers say they are monitoring the situation and will adjust production as needed. Back to Stripmatic in Cleveland, the president says they've been increasing sales and don't have to make any layoffs now, just cuts in overtime. GM makes up about 30% of its business. This is going to be day to day, week to week until, you know, we see any movement, you know, with the negotiations. Some analysts say General Motors is losing 50 to $150 million a day in this strike. Those suppliers are also going to feel that financial pinch. Now, coming up at 6, the feds have expanded their corruption case inside the United Auto Workers Union, an 11th person charged today. How close does that get to the top of those still negotiating in these sensitive times a new contract for some 50,000 workers? We'll see you with that at 6. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.